Naruto looked at his fellow Genina from his village and smiled. Everything had gone as planned. All the teams who were part of the plan to destroy the leaf were either killed or had quit. Kabuto was one of the few that got away. Any other team that wasn't part of the attack that Naruto didn't want advancing was placed in a genjutsu until they were taken back to the village by an overseer like Ibiki or Anko. Those who did pass were tricked into thinking they had done all the work. This way, they didn't think they didn't deserve to go to the next part of the exams. So, Dan said, what now? We're the only team inside the tower that allows us to move on the next stage. We have both scrolls for each of our teams, Naruto said. So, we can now go and enter the next stage. Let's go, everyone. How many people made it through, Lord Akumakage? Hera asked. Twelve from Konoha, three from the sand, and us six from the whirlpool, Naruto said. That makes 21 genin. We're going to try to shorten that number, right? Fang asked. Right, Naruto said. In the end, there should be 11 in the final round. This is when the next part of my plan comes in. Next part? Rose asked. Yes, Naruto said. I've studied how they choose who moves on. Fighters are chosen by a computer at random. Dan has the ability to get into any machine with his mind and control it. We're rigging the matches. You really are devils, Hera laughed. Demons, Frack corrected her. Yes, demons, Naruto said, and we're damn proud of it. After arriving at the tower and being accepted, Naruto and the other teams opened their scrolls. As Naruto had studied, a chunin was to appear and greet them. Only Naruto wasn't expecting who was chosen to greet him. His old teacher, Iruka. Iruka sensei? Naruto asked in disbelief. Naruto, you idiot! Iruka yelled, hitting Naruto over the head, but then hugged him. What the hell were you thinking running like that? I was worried sick. What do you mean? Naruto asked. What do I mean? Iruka asked Naruto back. It's what I said. I was worried about you. Don't tell me you actually believed Mizuki when he said I hated you. Naruto remembered how Mizuki tricked him into tracking the Forbidden Scroll so Mizuki could take it for himself. Iruka had tried to talk Naruto into giving him the scroll and coming back to the village. Instead, Naruto ran and created his own path. Why don't you hate me? Naruto asked. I'm a host of the Nine Tills, the creature that kills your parents. I didn't mean to, Kurama protested to Naruto in his head. Yes, you are, Iruka said. You're also Naruto Uzumaki, one of my students, and my little brother, not by blood, but by the pain of loss. We both understand the pain of having no one, but it looks like you found people to fill that void. Naruto looked at his team, and they smiled at him. Iruka was right. He was once alone, but no longer. Now, he had friends and a family. Thank you all for helping Naruto, Iruka said. It makes me happy to know you all have his back. Now, let me be the first to congratulate you on making it to the next stage of the exams. Well done. Thanks, Iruka sensei Naruto said, leading his team to the next stage. After the exams, I'm going to pay you back for all the ramen I've eaten off your money. That'll be a miracle. Iruka laughed. The teams all came together in one room, where the third Hokage gave a speech. The teams and their team leaders and exam overseers were all present. The Genin from the Whirlpool Village didn't care about the topic the Hokage went on about. Something about the exams being a war between villages. Naruto laughed at it all. If anyone tried to attack his village, it would be one hell of a mistake. Finally, after the speech, an exam overseer told Okage he wanted to hold this election round before the finals, which was allowed. Dan had a list of who was to face who and went to work rigging the matches. 
Naruto made sure everyone faced an equal in some way. Hinata was to go first against Choji. Originally, she was going to face Neji at some point, but Dan changed that. Naruto watched each match go on. He had told Dan to make him the one who wouldn't face anyone since there was an uneven number of Genin. This way, the other Genin at least had a chance because Naruto could beat any of them. The winners were Sasuke, Shikamaru, Shino, Tamari, Hinata, Neji, Fang, Rose, Don, Gara, and Naruto. These were the Genin moving on to the finals. Naruto, David said, we've got uh, a problem. Naruto and the other Genin looked at David. They had been celebrating their passing on to the finals. It was a month away so they could relax. Naruto knew something was wrong when he looked at Shay. His once joking and happy face was now covered in a mask of pain and sadness. What happened? Naruto asked. Word from the village, David said. Donzo launched an attack in hopes to get the scroll from us. Twenty Foundation Ninja attacked. They never made it to the village before being cut down. But they took three of our ninja with them. No, Naruto said. They weren't ninja. They were family. Donzo will pay with his blood. But we are to do nothing. After the tuning exams, we will kill Donzo. Now, how about the plans for the exams? Our ninja acting as villagers will arrive at the finals as planned, David said. They will engage the sound ninja. Pots of sand have been placed all over for Gara to use to capture the sand shinobi. He will then take them back to the sand village and try to convince peace with Konoha. This might cause a civil war, Shay said. Many of the sand have started to call Gara the next Kazekage, as were others want him dead. We know Orochimaru killed the current Kazekage, so a replacement will be needed when the sand village learns. Some will want Gara, Naruto said, as others will not. If war does break out, we'll help Gara. He's also a demon like us. So now what? Fang asked. We enjoy some R&R, &R, Naruto said. There's a festival for the passing Juning soon. Enjoy it and be on guard. The enemy could be anywhere. With that, they all went to bed. Donzo had gone over the line for the last time. Naruto was going to end him. But when should he do it? After the exams, he will confront the Hokage and the elders. There, he will call Donzo out and kill him. Naruto didn't care what the people of Konoha would do. He owed those who died. Donzo was going down for good.